okay. <laughs> there we go. We have some people on. Yay. How do you pin this? Pin. Pin comment. There we go. Okay. Ask quite Oh my goodness. I just started a party on top live. This is... That's weird. Okay. 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 I'll just... I guess I'll wait for people to start asking questions. Um, that's a lot of people already. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Quinn's on here. Hi, Quinn. I miss you. <laughs> Hi, Brazil. Is there coming a season two? Um, no. The announcement came out yesterday, and we got canceled. Unfortunately, we're very sad about it. Who's your favorite singer? Um, my favorite band is Imagine Dragons. I love them a lot. I don't really like too many individual singers, I guess. <sighs> Hello from the UK. I want to go to the UK. Oh, goodness. I want to go everywhere, though. I love traveling. Speak French, please. Oh, no. Oh, I feel like <laughs> my French would be really cringy, but I just have to say bonjour. <laughs> How are you? I am... I'm doing okay, you know? I'm sad, but, I mean, the fans have been very, very vocal, which is really nice. I'm really thankful for all of you. Oh, Spencer's on here. Hi, Spencer. I love you, too. <laughs> oh, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. Hello from Canada. Hi, Canada. I'm from Canada, too. <laughs> What will you miss about the show? I'll miss everything about the show. The show is absolutely incredible. I love working with all the people on the show. Um, I love being Kate. I love telling her story. I thought it was really important for LGBT representation. Can you speak Spanish? No, I can't speak Spanish. I wish I could. Top, yeah, top live. <laughs> Hello from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Favorite animal? Um, Why is this blanking for me? I literally just answered this question. And the person I was talking to said their favorite was penguin. What did I say? I don't even... Okay, whatever. Sorry. Um, you're a fabulous actress. Thank you. How old are you? I'm 14. Hello from Canada again. <laughs> So sad it's such a good show. It's a very good show, but thankfully it'll be on Netflix for all of time. So, that's good. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. But now I live in Los Angeles. <sighs> Hello. Hello from the Netherlands. Ooh, that's cool. Netflix is so cool that, you know, there's people all over the globe that I have fans from now. It's so cool. <laughs> ah, hello, Chili. Do you like horror movies? I do like horror movies. I really want to see A Quiet Place. Um, like, I really want to see it. I'm very excited. I think I'm going to see it soon. How do you connect with your character? Um, Kate's figuring out who she is, and I think everybody's, you know, at this age trying to figure out who they are, and so I think that everyone is be able is able to relate to Kate, and I'm able to relate to Kate in that way. Hello from Germany. I actually went to Germany once, and it was very nice. Not 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 very long though. I think I had a stopover, but I did like walk on the ground while I was there, because you have to like walk on the ground to get to the plane. So that was nice. <laughs> Who are you closest to out of the whole cast? Everybody. Like literally all of us were like a gigantic family. I wouldn't even say that I was close to anyone like in particular. If you could have played any other character, who would it be? Ooh. Oh, that's a, oh, that's so weird. I'm so attached to Kate. Like I'm so attached to her because I've been playing her for so long. Um, I don't know who else I would. I guess it would be fun to be Emmeline, maybe? I don't know. Okay. 
time is it? 104. And we already have nearly 2,000 viewers. That's so weird. Um, would you live in the 90s if you had the chance? Well, I guess I did live in the 90s for like three months. Um, but yeah, I guess it would be nice to um, go back. Man, there's a lot of fans. You guys are amazing. Like, I'm so thankful that we have so many really, really great fans. You guys are absolutely incredible. Favorite series? End of the Effing World is very good. I like that show a lot. I've been watching it all in one day. <laughs> I love your shirt. I love my shirt, too. I'm wearing a Time's Up shirt. Yeah, I got it online, and then... I got it. What's your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is tied between Ramona Blue and Turtles All the Way Down, which I have on my shelf over there. <laughs> Hello, I'm French. Hello. Hello from Paris. Hello. Speak Spanish. I, I can't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 14. <laughs> You're such a queen. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of the show The End of the Effing World? I said I binge watched the entire thing because I loved it a lot. It was really good. Like, very, very good. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Tried to do an Australian accent. Okay, so I did a Scottish accent when I was on the live with Sid, and um, it was not good. It, it it wasn't good. There's Sid. She's right here right now. I'm, I'm sure she can tell you how bad it was because it was really bad. And then <laughs> I was told it was very bad. <laughs> Sydney's here. Yes. Yep. Sydney's here. Hello, Sydney. How are you? I am, I'm okay. I'm sad, but I'm, you know, I'm doing okay. It's good that I'm able to talk to all the cast members. I miss you too, Sid. I miss you too. Let's, let's, let's see each other soon, please. Let's see, this one said, do you ship Kemaline? Yeah, Kemaline is amazing because it was Kate's dream, like the entire series, and then she actually ended up with the girl, so. And it actually, you know, it, it helped Emmeline, like, Sid likes to say that Kate taught Emmeline what love is, which is, I think is really sweet. What's my favorite song right now? My two favorite songs that are tied have been my favorite songs for a very long time, and they are The Cave by Mumford and & Sons and Hey Soul Sister by Train. I love them a lot. They both really mean a lot to me. <laughs> Cameline Forever, yes. Cameline Forever. Because everything sucks will always be on Netflix, and I can always... We can always go back and <laughs> watch the Cameline scene. Also, you guys do some really, really incredible edits. Like, I watch all the edits, and um, they're all, they're they're very, very amazing. Like, the, the Kemaline edits and stuff, they're, they're really cool. Hey, Soul Sister, we jammed that in the car. Yeah, we did. Let's do it again. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite food? Mm, like, type of food or food food? I'm vegetarian, and I really like veggie burgers. Actually, I had one yesterday. <laughs> they're very good. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Do you like Stranger Things? I do like Stranger Things. And Sid and Quinn and I, and well, Rio too, we went to the um, Stranger Things premiere, which was really great in October. Um, that was incredible. Do you miss Dr. O and Odd Squad? <laughs> oh, Dr. O, she's, she's a kooky character, that's for sure. Um, Odd Squad was a really big part of my childhood because I was on that show for like, three years so 
you know. What's my favorite color? I like a lot of colors. I like uh, pink, like this color pink, and I like a light green, and I like yellow a lot. Probably those ones. <sighs> Let's see, I probably missed a whole bunch of questions. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I made a drawing of Kemaline. Oh, good. Please tag me in it and post it because I really want to see it. How old were you when you started acting? Um, I was eight when I did my first thing, but I was like almost seven when I realized I wanted to do acting. Talking in Spanish. I can't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? I like reading a lot. Um, I read Ready Player One in like two days. Actually, I stayed up until like 2 a.m. in the morning and I probably shouldn't have finished the book, but it was like, it was so good. Wait, did I put it on my shelf or is it still over here? I don't know. Oh man, I'm missing so many questions. I'm so sorry. What's your favorite scene from Ready Player One? The whole movie was incredible. It actually replaced Baby Driver, and now it's my fifth, my fifth favorite movie of all time. It was really good. I also read the book immediately after. Also very good. Um, first thing you acted in. I did a short film with CFC, the Canadian Film Center, and it was called The Offering. And it was the first thing I did, and it was very incredible. Can you speak French? I can speak French. How tall are you? I am five. I'm so sorry, guys. I am like missing all these questions. I'm five foot nine. I'm very tall. Um, what is my favorite hairstyle? Well, I'm really lazy, so I don't really do much with my hair. <laughs> so I usually just put it in like a messy bun or I keep it down or a ponytail or stuff. But like, there's some people who are so talented with hair. Like my hair stuff, the Everything Sucks premiere. My goodness, it was incredible. I'm sorry I'm missing all these questions. There we go. I think I'm at the bottom now. Hopefully I got all of them. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm missing questions. Just, if I didn't answer them, please ask them again because I, I want to answer questions. <laughs> What's the last book you read? Ready Player One. I'm also reading um, the first Magnus Chase book right now because I've read all of uh, Rick Riordan's books. <laughs> but I haven't read the Rick Riordan one and... Um, so I'm on the first one right now. I'm almost done it. Hey, Jalen's here. Oh, Jalen, I miss you. I haven't seen you in a long time. You should come back to LA. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? I don't. I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should learn Spanish. Well, how do you get into acting? Um, so I was reading the Harry Potter books, which is my favorite series. I was reading the Harry Potter books. And then I was watching the movies at the same time. <clears throat> and um, and then I realized that people can like take the words off the page and they can turn them into a movie. And I fell in love with that. Um, and that's when I knew I wanted to be an actress. <laughs> Sorry, I'm missing, I'm missing questions. Hello to Russia. Hi, Brazil. <laughs> What's my favorite language? Ooh, I don't think I'd be able to choose what my favorite language is. There's so many beautiful languages out there. Hogwarts House? Hufflepuff! Hey, it's in my bio, um, too, because I'm very, very proud of my Hufflepuff house. My, my Hufflepuff, like, being in Hufflepuff. Um, and I get, I can get pretty defensive of it because, you know, there's so many stereotypes of Hufflepuff just being lazy and blah, blah, blah. Which, I mean, I am, but that's not what Hufflepuff is. Can you scroll up and read my question, please? I'm sorry, there's so many comments. I, I really don't know what it says. Um, maybe you can ask again. Um, favorite Harry Potter character? I really like Ginny a lot. I like Hermione a lot. Um, Ron's an incredible character. Actually, I <laughs> I binge watched all of a very uh, Potter musical yesterday or two days ago, and now I'm on the sequel, and it's brilliant. Like it's actually amazing. I'm a fluff too. Yeah. Who do you miss from Old Squad? I love that show. Everyone! The cast is great. I'm, I'm still in contact with most of them. I, I saw Brendan the other day if you saw my post. I've been to Norway. I haven't been to Norway and I really want to go. I want to go everywhere. Actually, when I was little, like four or five or something like that, and then like my kindergarten teacher asked me, like we had to do a project about what we want to be when we were older, I wrote Travel Writer. Because I wanted to like travel places and write about them. Because... <laughs> um, 
and I guess that's still like really amazing. And with my career, I'm able to travel places, which is really, really great. And no one's stopping me from writing about them, so. <laughs> oh man, I'm missing all the questions. I'm so sorry. What's your favorite musical? I haven't really seen any musicals except for a very Potter musical, so I'd have to say that. <laughs> and I didn't even see it in person. I watched it on Team Star Kids YouTube. Yes. Yes, AVPM is amazing. Because it is. It's incredible. <laughs> Have you watched Love, Simon? No, and I really want to. I want to see it so badly. I'm gonna probably going to see it soon. I was actually supposed to see it with a friend. Oh, man, there's a lot of comments. Okay. Doctor or Kate? Oh, come on. I can't choose between them. They're both awesome. Please do an okay sign. That's what you're asking for. Oh, there we go. Got to the bottom. Hopefully, I got through all the questions. And if I didn't, I'm so sorry. Please ask them again. I didn't. I didn't skip, skip them on purpose. I promise. How many languages can you speak? I can speak French and I can speak English. <laughs> um, hopefully, I can learn more. I really hope so because languages are beautiful. Can you say I love you in Spanish? No. I'm sorry. Can you say hi, Kate? Hi, Kate. <laughs> Can you draw? Um, I like to draw, I guess. Am I good at it? Not really. But that's okay. You don't have to be good at it. As long as you love doing it, just do it. <laughs> hmm. Speak French. Guys, I really don't want to offend anyone by saying, oh, I guess I'll just say, bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> that just means hello, everybody. I'm sorry. Also, my French is like French Canadian, and <laughs> I'm sorry if it's bad. Oh, your accent is so cute. My accent. My, my Canadian accent. <laughs> Hello everybody, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. Do you watch YouTube? Yes, lots of it. Probably too much that I should. Can you speak English? Yes, I can speak English. And I've been speaking English the whole time. <laughs> Favorite sport? I like swimming a lot. I have a lot of really good friends who do swimming. Who's my favorite YouTuber? Oh, that'd be hard to choose. I watch a lot of YouTubers. What do you think of Tori Amos? I love Tori Amos a lot. And I hadn't even heard of her before the show. And um, I listened to a lot of her music to prepare for Kate. And... Um, She's really, she's so talented. She's incredibly talented. Any lucky charm? Not really. Maybe I should. <laughs> Favorite music genre? I like alternative rock a lot. I like folk rock. Will you come to Brazil? I hope so. I hope I get to go everywhere. I want to visit every country. <laughs> Hi, Argentina. I want to go to Argentina. I want to go everywhere. How old are you? I'm 14. How do you relate to Kate's character? Um, I said this earlier, and Kate's figuring out who she is in many different ways, and I, I am too, and I think everybody is, and everybody can relate to that. Do you like Tori Amos? I do like Tori Amos. If you could star on any show, what would it be? Oh, that's an interesting question. Ooh. Man, I don't know. There's a lot of really, really great shows out there. Do you listen to 90s music? I do. I listen to the Everything Sucks playlist a lot. <laughs> Because it's nice, you know. 
to go back to that. And I listen to a lot of Oasis, like, like, um, Wonderwall. I listen to Wonderwall a lot. Mm -hmm. Your fans are so sweet. You guys are awesome, really. I'm so thankful for all of you guys. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Oops. I think I almost exited it. That would be bad. You're such an amazing actress in person. I'm so sad I won't be able to watch season two. I'm sad I'm not able to bring season two to you guys, but I'm very grateful that Netflix, um, that Netflix gave us the chance to tell our stories. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is Annihilation uh, with Natalie Portman, and it's amazing, like, so incredible, and Inception was my favorite movie for a really, really long time, and Annihilation bumped it off, and I had to, like, I had this list that I have, and I had to, like, erase it all and move everything one down. Sad. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Yes, I love pizza. Actually, I had a friend, I have a friend who didn't like pizza, and it was weird to me. She didn't like cake either, though, so, I don't know. She doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna judge you for your preferences. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? I like English and a lot, a lot, and I like math a lot. Um, I'm in a French class here, too, which is nice. I was able to continue it. I'm sorry, I probably missed all your questions. I'm gonna try and scroll up and find them. <laughs> Can you say I love you in Spanish? I, I'm sorry, I can't speak Spanish. Oh. T M O? Is that how you say it? T T M O? You say T in French, so I don't know. Um, favorite Cameline scene and why? My favorite Cameline scene is the one on the stairs. Well, also the kiss, but like the one on the stairs is just, it's really beautiful. And Sid's so talented. I don't know if she's not in here, but like, she's so talented. And that scene is absolutely beautiful because it's like Kate's dream coming true. Um, do you have a piercing in real life? Nope, I did not pierce my nose for it. I got it like, I glued it on every day. Like, not harmful glue, but like, you know, glue that can go in your nose. <laughs> but I, uh, your ear, ear piercing, you can't see them, but, um, speak Italian. I can't speak Italian. I wish I could. Da -da -da. Oh, Anne's on here. Hi, Anne. <laughs> You play Kate and my name is Kate. That's good. <laughs> That's nice. Hi, how are you? Please take my name. I'm from India. Hi, India. I have a lot of friends from India, actually. Um, and I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It's nice to be in, on here with all of you guys. Um, all the fans. Because you guys are really amazing. Uh, I'm 14. 14 years old. The nose piercing looked really good on you in real life. Would you get it done for real? No, probably not. Actually, definitely not, I don't think. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I don't know. Hello from Italy. Hi, Italy. I'm Italian, actually. Not very much, but I'm a little bit Italian. Hi, Amy. <laughs> I also want to say that I read all of your DMs. Every DM that I get, I read. Um, and I don't reply to them, but I definitely read all of them. And I acknowledge what you guys are saying. And I want you guys to know that. Because I value your opinion. And I value what you guys have to say. And I've gotten a lot, a lot of DMs about... Um, that Kate has helped them come out or helped them realize that they're not um, alone in the world. And I actually screenshot all of them and I have them all saved to my phone because I really, that I, that's the most important thing for me is that um, I've helped other people and that I've helped other people, um, you know, realize who they are and realize that it's not their problem because they're perfectly normal. Um, and I want you guys to know that, that I really... I'm really, really glad if I'm able to help someone realize who they are. 
I'm sorry I missed all the questions and I just really wanted to say that because, you know, I really like all you guys. I'm very, very grateful for all of you guys. Let's see, okay. If you could go to any concert, who would you go to besides Imagine Dragons? Mumford and Sons. I like Mumford and Sons a lot. Say my name. Um, I don't know what your name is. I'm sorry. Any unique habits or talents? Not really. I almost missed this. I saw one of Emma Watson. I don't know where it went. I love Emma Watson a lot. She's she's incredible. She's been my idol for a very, very long time. Who is someone you wish you could act to? Oh, like act with me? Oh, I have so many idols. I love Jennifer Lawrence a lot. I love her acting. She's so talented. Jessica Chastain is amazing. Sally Hawkins, Octavia Spencer, Saoirse Ronan. Um, who else? Let's see. Um, Taraji P. Henson. Jahi worked with her. Um, I'd really like to work with her. She, uh, her and Hidden Fingers is just amazing. <laughs> Favorite scene in the show. I really hope I didn't miss it. I'd have to, I had to leave for a while. That's okay. Um, my favorite scene from the show is, ooh, there's a lot of really good ones. The bridge scene is absolutely amazing. I, oh my goodness. I was on the plane, actually, when I was reading that one. Just give you a little story. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was on the, why did I do that? I was on the plane, um, on the way to Oregon while reading it, because I got all the scripts, like, right before. And I was reading them, and I... I was at the end of the ninth episode, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's almost done. And then I, I come to this, and it's like this gigantic paragraph, and I see that it's mine. The first thought I have is, oh my goodness, I have to memorize this. And then I read it, and the second thought I have is like, I'm almost crying on this plane. Like, this is this is terrible that Kate had to go through this. And I was just really glad I was able to bring that to life. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I'm missing all the questions. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 14. Favorite movie, Annihilation, followed closely by Inception, and then Get Out, and then um, The Sixth Sense, and then Ready Player One, and then Baby Driver. How do you get into acting? Uh, the Harry Potter series inspired me to get into acting. Age, I'm 14. I'm really sorry for me hearing all your questions. Uh, what's Crackalackin? Actually, that was improv. I, we didn't even, like, that wasn't even in the script. And I, and I was sitting there with Sid because, like, we were doing the scene. Thankfully, the cameras weren't on us because <laughs> Abby said that. And I, like, burst out laughing, and I, like, which I feel really bad about because Abby was, like, trying to act. And I was trying to be a good scene partner. And then I, like, burst out laughing because the way she said it was just amazing. And then they used that take in the, in the scene, obviously. In the, like, in the show, obviously, because it was amazing. Love you, Abby. <laughs> Who are you? What is your name? My name is... Peyton Kennedy, and I'm an actress. How do you say Emma? Emma. Hi, what do you prefer, camp or party? What? Oh, Tyler's on here. Hi, Tyler. I'm sorry, unless this is, like, really late, it might be. Um, camp or party? I, um, not really sure what the question means, but I, I guess I like seeing my friends, and I also like being outside, so both. Oh, Abby's on here. Hi, Abby. Oh, and Tyler says I miss you. Aw, you guys are so great. Uh, what's your favorite movie right now? Annihilation. Do you watch Stranger Things? Oh, I got to the bottom. Okay. Do you watch Stranger Things or no? I do watch Stranger Things. Yep. It's very great. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Chili. Actually, the first time when I was like really little, I was reading a book that um, said chili in it, and I didn't know that it was like referring to a country because I was like, you know, seven or six or something like that. Um, I thought it was just saying child, and I was like, what? What is this? And I had to go home and like ask my mom. <laughs> see you soon. I miss Ellie too much. Uh, good. I'm so excited to see you. That's really good. Do you put water before or after you put your toothpaste on your toothbrush? Actually, maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but I put it on both. You do water, and then toothpaste, and then water, and then you brush your teeth. I don't know, that's just how I've always done it. Um, what do you think of Ariana Grande? I like her music a lot. I also watched her when she was on Victorious, and a little bit on Sam and Cat. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Apparently, uh, yeah, so in the last live I did with Sid, I... 
I talked about vines. <laughs> um, and so now I'm getting a whole bunch of vine references. Oh, well, I guess not a whole bunch, but like, I'm glad about that because I love vines a lot. Probably too much, but I guess that's our whole generation, right? <laughs> Do you put the milk in first or the cereal? The cereal first. I'm not a monster. Goodness. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I do put the um, cereal in first. Nice t-shirt. Thank you. I'm wearing my Time's Up t-shirt. Very, very happy. I got it online. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Are you related to President John F. Kennedy? No, I'm not. How close are you in Sydney? And please say hi, Ebony. It would mean the absolute world to me. Sid and I are very close. She's, yeah, she's like my big sister. She's awesome. Hi and welcome to Chili's. I actually went to, Ch I went to Chili's like last week. Um, and I, I like I got a picture of the, the Chili sign and I sent it to my best friend <laughs> because I had to. Let's see. Can you save this live? I will save it. Yes, absolutely. What's your favorite store to shop at? Ooh. I don't really shop that much. Like, I don't know. Pancakes or pizza? Both. Both. Do you like Spain? Yeah. Speak Spanish, I can't. I should learn Spanish. I'm getting so many questions about can you learn Spanish. I, I wish I could. Um, did the show get cancelled? Yes, the show did get cancelled, unfortunately, and we're pretty sad about it, um, but we're grateful that we had the chance to do the show. What did you enjoy the most when shooting the last episode? The whole thing. I love the whole episode. It's because it's Kate actually gets a really happy ending, which is really nice. I agree with the toothpaste routine. Thank you! Thank you! Pizza or pasta? Both, again. Also, I'm sorry if I'm taking too long or if I'm being quiet for so long. I'm just trying to, you know, get the questions I can answer. Are gloves and hand socks? Oh my goodness, my life will never be the same after reading that. Thank you. You know where Portugal is? I do know where Portugal is, and one of my friends went to Portugal, actually. How old are you? I am 14. Favorite meme? Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay, the... At the time, like, like right now, the Gru presentation meme is, like, one of my favorites. Um, and I have a few saved to my phone <laughs> that are really good. Um... No. Okay. Describe in three words the relationship of Kate and Emmeline. Oh, I don't know if I'm able to do it in three words, but I guess it's just, you know, them really um, being able to be themselves. And I think that's the most important part. Be yourselves, guys. I love the grooming meme. Me too. I. Me too. Peyton, I'm crying. You recognize me. I love you so much. Oh, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not recognizing you. I really, I'm, I'm really trying. I'm so sorry. My entire group at school had a massive debate about the cereal and milk thing for weeks. It was so funny. <laughs> I've never met anyone who puts some milk in first, because then the milk just splashes everywhere. The only way that you can do that is if you ate all your cereal already and there's milk, like, left in the bowl and you don't want to waste milk, but you want more cereal and then you put more cereal into the bowl that like you can't there's no other way that that would be perfectly acceptable <laughs> the yodeling boy is on top right now um i can say i watched the video a few times because it's very catchy he's a good singer hi asha hope i said that right i'm sorry if i didn't you know how to speak a little bit of spanish actually you know what i'm saying i can't speak spanish but i watched dora when i was little and i can count in spanish uno dos Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Seis. That's all I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been saying no the whole time. 
Hi, Maddie. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. I saw a question and now I can't. Favorite vine. There it is. Uh, what up? I'm Jared. I'm 19 and I never learned how to read. That's my favorite vine of all time. Actually, I tried to do... I tried to, like, make a list of all my vines and, like, of, like all the vines that I really like. And then there's way too many of them. And I didn't know how to refer to them. And I was just writing out, like, what they say in the vine. And then I knew that was too obscure and that I wouldn't be able to remember it. And... <sighs> chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. I love chocolate so much. <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Ooh. I don't know. I... <laughs> I really want to go everywhere. Like, I really want to visit places as much as I can. What's your opinion on pineapple on pizza? Sid and I got this question last time, and I seem to remember that both of us like pineapple on pizza. It's it's really good. I don't I don't know why there's such a big debate about that. It tastes good. Like the flavors taste good together. <laughs> Do you speak German? No, I don't. How tall are you? I'm five foot nine. I'm sorry if I offended anyone by saying that I like pineapple and pizza. I love pineapple and pizza. See, it's not that weird. Right? Your age? 14. 14 years old. What's the best way to memorize a script? Honestly, I've gotten this question so many times. Like, how do you get, how do you memorize scripts and blah blah blah? And um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I just, I'm able to, to learn the lines. Like, they just stick in my head. Like, I don't know how. How are you? I'm doing okay. You know, I'm doing okay. Doing all right. Doing fine. I'm gonna miss Kate so much. Thankfully, the show's gonna be on Netflix forever, and you can go rewatch the show. So that's good. We're really grateful that Netflix took our show in the first place, and that we that we were able to tell the story because you know it's a milestone for LGBT representation, I think, and all of us think. Um, so we're really grateful that it was able to be on Netflix. How do you get into character so well? Honestly, I... I don't know. I do this thing like to prep, and it's called prep, and I do person, relationship, um, environment, and purpose, and like I, I fill it out um, based on my character and the scenes that I'm doing for an audition, and that really helps me get into character. You look so smart. <laughs> um, that's good, I guess. If you could travel back in time, where would you go? I love dinosaurs a lot, and I know it's probably very risky, but I would really like to go back and see dinosaurs. Hello from France. Hi, France. I've been to France, actually. I went to Nice um, in 2014. Do you think there should be more female superheroes? Yes, there should be more female superheroes. We should just have all representation. Come on, guys. <laughs> Invisibility or telekinesis? Invisibility. I wouldn't want telekinesis. Wait. Telekinesis. Is that... Telekinesis is somewhere where you can move things through your mind or you can read other people's minds? Because I would not want to read other people's minds. I think that's an invasion of privacy. missed a question I feel like why invisibility because I wouldn't want telekinesis but invisibility would be nice also you know you could be invisible that's cool do you like the guinea pigs I don't know if that's a band or if I just you're asking if I like the animal guinea pigs because I do like the animal but if it's if it's not an animal, if like you're talking about a band or something, I don't I don't know. How old are you? I'm fourteen. Um my invisibility. Oh wait, I already answered that one. 
I love your shirt. Thank you very much. I love my shirt a lot too. How did it make you feel when you realized that you're helping people figure out who they are and how it has impacted you? Honestly, I'm like so grateful that I'm able to play Kate because like I've, I've gotten so many DMs and so many messages and I've seen so many posts people saying like, Kate helped me come out, Kate helped me realize who I am, Kate helped me realize that I'm normal and honestly that's, that's the most important part for me. That's the most important part of playing Kate for me is that I was able to help people, um, figure that out because that's it's very important to figure out who, who you are and although you don't need to like put labels on yourself or anything I'm, I'm really helpful I'm like no not helpful I'm really really glad that that I was able to help people do that I'm sorry I missed so many questions Superman or Batman um I'm more of a Marvel person. Wait, is Batman's DC, isn't he? Yeah. I like your voice. Oh, thanks. My voice is actually pretty deep for... Uh, or I, I think my voice is pretty deep. Um, time's up. Time is up. That's why I have this t-shirt. That's why I like wearing it. I'm very happy. Telepathy is the one where you can read people's minds. Yeah, I don't I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I remember watching you uh, watching Odds Gone with my sister and seeing you as Dr. O. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was Dr. O. I did a lot of episodes of that show. It was really great. I made a lot of really good friends with that. Like I'm still friends with some people. I still text some people on the show and uh do you really have the nose piercing? I don't really have the nose piercing. Nope. I didn't know. I don't know what that means. Thank you for the live stream. You're welcome. I don't really do many of these. Um, I did the one that said, but I don't really do many by myself, but I wanted to today. Choose Wonder Woman instead. Yeah, choose Wonder Woman instead. Go, Wonder Woman. Actually, Wonder Woman is a very good movie. I saw it with Rio and Quinn when we were in, um, when we were in Oregon. Oh, and Sid, too. Sid was there, too, yeah. My name weird. My name is Dr. Crispy. No? I hope you're doing okay. We will all miss Kate. What kind of role would you like to play next? I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm sad, obviously, but um, yeah, I'll miss Kate too. And what role would I like to play next? Um, I don't know. I like to really do different things that I haven't done before. Or, um, things that are outside of my comfort zone. So hopefully I'll be able to do something like that. Are you going to watch Infinity War? Yes, I'm going to watch Infinity War, and I'm very excited to watch Infinity War. <laughs> I heard, well, ugh, I really don't want anyone to die, but I know that's impossible because someone has to die, but I really don't want anyone to die. Favorite color? Um, this, this pink and like a light green and yellow. Best piece of advice? Ooh, best piece of advice. Um, be yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Because there's nothing wrong with yourself. <laughs> I think it would be cool to see you, Daphne Keene, and Millie Bob Brown together in a movie. They're all... I mean, both of them are very incredible actresses. Bye. High School Musical. Um, I saw High School Musical when I was little, and you don't... Really remember it that much? Maybe I should watch it again. <laughs> Pizza or burgers? Veggie burgers are very good. Pizza is also very good. So I'll have to say it's a tie. <laughs> Please come to Ireland. Yes, I would like to come to Ireland. That'd be very nice. The series was cancelled. Yep. The series was cancelled. Marvel versus DC. Marvel. Marvel. I've always, I've always loved Marvel a lot. I like Wonder Woman a lot, though. Uh, Cameline. Hashtag Cameline, yes. Are you vegan? I'm not vegan. I'm vegetarian. Pizza or tacos? Once again, both. I'm, I'm sorry. Honestly, I can't 
choose. I don't, I don't really dislike much food. <laughs> favorite singer. Uh, my favorite band is Imagine Dragons. I also like Alessia Carr a lot. I like Vance Joy a lot. Oh, oh, Alanis Morissette. I, I started listening to Alanis Morissette, like Jagged Little Pill. Like, it's, oh, I'm mean, not really started to it because I've listened to it before, but now I just have it on repeat because it's incredible. Instagram or Snapchat? Instagram. I love your smile. <laughs> Thank you. Jahi did a live yesterday. I was watching it. Uh, oh, Patch is on here. Hi, Patch. I miss you a lot. Hopefully I'm able to see you soon. Pizza or chocolate? Oh, that's a hard one. I can't choose between those. I'm sorry if you guys are actually looking for answers. I can't. How long uh, have you been watching Harry Potter? I'm sure I've been watching it since I was born. Um, I started watching it um, when I was four. I started watching maybe then I started reading when I was six, I think. Hi, Samesies. Oh, I miss Patch so much. Guys, Patch is incredible. Patch is really, really great. I love Patch a lot. <laughs> Um, he's the best TV dad I've ever had. And probably ever will have. Actually, definitely ever will have. He's incredible. <laughs> favorite ice cream flavor. Oops. Oop. Uh, favorite ice cream flavor. Um, I don't know. Like, Rocky Road or chocolate or... <gasps> Moose tracks are really good. Patch said, Did you know that my parents and Lance's parents are friends and we hung, hung out as kids? Wow. I'm I'm shook. I have been shook. <laughs> Were you as open minded as you are about LGBT plus before you played Kate? Yes. Always. I always have been because I mean we're all just people <laughs> and it doesn't matter who you like. Would you ever work with Sid again if you'd given the chance? Yes. I would I would I've worked with everyone a million times over if I could. Everyone was so amazing on set. Favorite Imagine Dragon songs? Bleeding Out on their first album. Patch, you killed her. <laughs> oh, goodness. What Harry Potter characters do you most like? Ginny and Hermione, probably. <laughs> if the live reaches one hour, it stops and it's at 47 minutes. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> What Hogwarts house you in? Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff for the win! Who would you want to see in concert? Alive or dead? Um, that's a weird... A weird question. <laughs> um, I'd like to see all my favorite artists, you know, Alessia Cara and um, Imagine Dragons again. Should be really nice. Um, Mumford and Sons, Vance Joy, Alanis Morissette, did I say Alanis Morissette? I might have. Do you like all the fan edits made of you in Sydney? I watch all of them, so, um, they're, yeah, they're all very good. Do you like Oasis before everything sucks? I hadn't heard of Oasis before everything sucks, and I like them now. Can you speak French? I can speak French, yep. You should listen to P-V-R-I-S, I don't know what that is, sorry. Favorite band, Imagine Dragons. Hey. Who's your favorite Stranger Things character? Hmm. Maybe Max. I like her a lot. Sadie Sink's very talented. Who's your favorite Harry Potter book or movie? Goblet of Fire for both of them. They're, they're incredible. Like, incredible. Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Both, I guess. Please speak Indonesia. I don't... Indonesian? I can't. I'm sorry. I love Max. Yeah, me too. What's your name? My name's Peyton Kennedy. Oops. 
trying to stop cracking my knuckles. <laughs> Coldplay or Oasis? Sorry, I'd have to say Coldplay for life. Um, don't really listen to much Coldplay. It's probably Oasis. Ooh, that was loud. Um, how tall are you? I'm 5'9". Favorite Alessia Cara song? Mine's either 17 or Here. Those are both very, very good songs. I like 17 a lot. I like Here a lot. I like Outlaws a lot. I'm just listing all their songs now. <laughs> but I like all the songs. They're very good. Favorite Disney movie, um, like Pixar film, Coco. Absolutely, so good, so good. Please post six pic. Please post pics with Sid. I would like to see Sid more often. I would like to post pictures with her. Actually, I do have a picture of her on my phone, like us together when we went to Six Life. We want season two. We all do. Hi from Canada. Hello, Canada. I miss Canada. Have you heard of Loud of Love Loud? And if not, go to Imagine Dragons account. Okay. I oh, know. I have not heard that. Favorite song from the soundtrack and favorite scene. Favorite song? The Freshman, maybe? And um favorite scene bridge scene. Or the, the scene at the Tori Amos concert, when Kate sees um, the two lesbians kissing. So many comments, I'm so sorry. What was your favorite TV show when you were younger? Uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> it's still, it's very good. I watch a lot. Hi from Russia. Hello, Russia. Thanks for representation. I'm really glad I was able to represent the LGBT community. Kate was a dream role. Actually, when I first got, like, when I first got the breakdown, I knew that it was going to be a dream role. After I read, like, the breakdown about her, I knew that I would, that I wanted to play the character so badly because she's, she's just incredible. And I knew that it'd be a milestone for representation. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. But also YouTube, Netflix, and YouTube—they're both—they're both great. I mean, they don't really have like similar content. So, Radiohead or Imagine Dragons? Imagine Dragons. I'll always choose Imagine Dragons. How long did ES take to film? We started filming on June twelfth, twenty seventeen, and we ended September, well, August thirty first, August thirtieth, thirty first. Um. And then we did like a photo, like our photo shoot for the, you know, when we're all on the, on the VHS tapes. We did that on September first, so I guess that counts. But like, June to end of August. But I was there, May twenty eighth. I honestly, I get sidetracked so so quickly, and now I'm missing all the questions, and I'm so sorry. Got any, got any favorite Marvel shows? Um. Oh, I don't know. Have you heard Sleeping at Last? No, I don't think so. Can you say hi to Brazil? Hi, Brazil. Honestly, I have so many fans from Brazil. Like, Brazil is... Honestly, shout out to Brazil. Shout out to all the... All of them, everybody. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. And now I live in Los Angeles. Do you play an instrument? I play ukulele. My ukulele's over there. I play flute. My flute's over there. And I play piano. Not nearly as well as Rio plays piano, but I do play piano. Hello, Peyton. I feel like I'm going to say something wrong, and then it's going to be in here for all time, and there's a thousand people watching this. Actually, when I did a live with Rio, I said that my birthday was December 4th, and it's not. It's January. <laughs> Which is different. Like, very different, because they're an entirely different year. <clears throat> Can you speak Dutch? No, I cannot speak Dutch. No, she could. Oh, Lee, I miss you too. Who was the funniest on set? Um, I guess we, everyone was, but Quinn. Quinn was very funny. 
Do you play another LGBT character? It would be nice if I could, because I want the most representation as, as possible. I want all representation, though. You know, representation for everybody. Say my name with your voice, please. My name is Sophia. Hi, Sophia. I don't know what it means with your voice, though. Are you a nerd? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Are you planning on coming to France? I would like to go to France. That'd be nice. Go back to France. Mm -mm, what time is it? I feel like I'm running out of time. Oh, it's 1.55. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of time. It's going to end very soon. I'm so sorry. This has been fun. Nerd high five. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Peyton Kennedy. Hi, Allie. No, don't leave my phone. <laughs> uh, do you like memes? I like memes, that's for sure. Um, can you say hi, Emma? Hi, Emma. Can you speak in Spanish? I can't speak in Spanish. If you guys have been on here for a while, you heard me count to three, I guess, in Spanish, but other than that, I'm not good at speaking Spanish. Actually, I guess I can say vamanos. That's it. Nice one. Ciao, Italia? Hope I said that right. Oh, goodness. Please don't come at, for, come, at, come, come at me. Please don't come at me for saying it wrong. No, I don't mean to. <laughs> Love from New Zealand. That would be nice. I'd like to go to New Zealand. Favorite movie? Annihilation. I like Annihilation a lot. Hola. Smoke and mirrors or night visions? Oh, that's way too hard. Come on, they're both great. Evolve and Smoke and Mirrors and Night Visions are all incredible, and I really want another album to come out very quickly. <laughs> it's Imagine Dragons. Hope you all can work together again in some fashion. Me too. If you work with any actor- <gasps> Oh my goodness, I have two minutes remaining, I'm so sorry. If you could work with any actor or actress, who would it be? I'd like to work with Jessica Chastain, and I'd like to work with uh, Jennifer Lawrence, and um, Sally Hawkins, and... Um, I'm sorry, I <laughs> search around and oh, man, we have one, one, one minute and 40 seconds left. Um, favorite book, um, Turtles All the Way Down and um, Ramona Blue. They're tied. Bananas. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five foot nine. Emmeline or Luke? Um, I think Kate has different relationships with both of them because Emmeline, you know, she's in a relationship with. And Luke um, is like her best friend and sibling, so. Hi, Maddie. Instagram or Spotify? I, I can't choose between the two because they don't have the same content at all. I like both of them a lot. Oh, how old are you? I'm 14. Banana slow game is <laughs> What was your favorite scene to act in? Did I answer that one? I don't think so. Um, all the scenes were very good acting, but I liked I liked doing all the Tori Amos concert scenes. They were all very good, and Jahi's such a great scene partner, so that was awesome. Um, all the scenes with Patch, every single scene I did with Patch <laughs> um, were great. And the bridge scene, and the scenes with Emmeline I have in the end ones. Oh, also, the scene that we did, oh my goodness, I have 18 seconds left. Um, the scene that we do where where I'm at Luke's house with McQuaid and Tyler and Luke and I, and then we realize that we're going to go to the drama club. I love doing the scene. We filmed that one on the second day of filming, and it was, it was great. Okay, I have five seconds left. Thank you all so much for coming to my live. I'll save it. Thank you, guys. Bye.